Shabbat Shalom. This week we read the double Parsha of the Har Bahukotai. In Bahukotai, the Torah describes all of the things that will happen when the Jewish people sin, how we will be exiled and driven from the land of Israel. And the Torah tells us there that when the Jewish people are in exile, the land will then rest, and in that way make up for all the sabbatical years that were not observed. The language the Torah uses in our Parsha parallels the way in which the Torah describes the Shemitah year elsewhere. Generally, the Torah explains that during a Shemitah year, the land rests. It is, of course, a famously curious phrase, because in the Shemitah year, it's not really the land that rests, but us. We are the ones who are desisting from our normal work. So why does the Torah describe Shemitah and the land in this way? To understand the reason, I think we can look back at a Pasuk that appears in Bahar. There the Torah tells us that when, a, when someone is in need of support, you should lend them money, but you're not allowed to charge them interest. So the Torah tells us that your brother may live with you. Rosalovechik noticed the fact that in this Pasuk, the Torah uses the word af, brother, instead of merely another word that the Torah often uses, neighbor. And he writes that when we really feel another person's pain, then they become like a brother to us. There are two ways we can look at people in the world. We can simply be cognizant of them, know that they exist, like, in, like we know our neighbors exist, and that, of course, brings with it also some requirements. We're not allowed to infringe on our neighbor's property rights. We're not allowed to cause our neighbor any harm. But when we feel someone's emotional pain and we actively seek to care for them, then all of a sudden they rise up to the level not just of a neighbor, but that of a brother. And to enter the brotherhood of the Jewish people requires that we look at all the members of the Jewish community that way that we feel their pain and that we seek to help them. And also that we look at humanity that way, that we think about the suffering that is going on and that we strive to ameliorate it, to make it better. And finally, that we, are, that we don't just think about the land of Israel in a sort of intellectual or abstract way, but that we really feel deeply connected to it, that we connect to its needs and we connect to its suffering. Shabbat Shalom.